Hello everyone. Welcome to the video session on topographical surface sheet. We have completed colors and their significance in topographical maps in last video. Today's topic of discussion is conventional signs and symbols in a topo sheet. So let's begin the topic. Waterfall. A waterfall is a place in a river where water spills suddenly downward. If you see this symbol, then you can understand that brown contours and a line coming across which is blue in color and you will see a word written false with number in meter. And this number, it signifies the height of this fall that is 22 in meter. So, it is waterfall. Footpath. Footpath is a temporary path made by men to cross a region and it is shown by a single line of dots in red. So, if you want to copy from here, this is how you have to draw. Fire line or fire break. So, what is fire line? Fire line on a topographic map means the indication of clearing or a gap or an empty space that runs within a forest area and this is done in uh, this is done in order to stop the spread of fire in the forest or I can say that it is done to prevent the spread of fire in the forest region. If you try to find out the fire line symbol, then you have to look for this symbol. Along with this symbol, the fire line will be written. So, you will not be facing that much problem to find out the fire line symbol. Then we will know about telegraph line. So, here we can see the telegraph line and it is means of communication. Okay. So, uh, a wire line, sorry, a wire strung between two locations allowing telegraphic communication. So, that is telegraph line. Now, we will know about some important monuments and buildings. First symbol that is Chhatri. So, here I have drawn the symbol of Chhatri which is red in color. So, Chhatri are elevated dome shaped Indian architecture. The word Chhatri means canopy or umbrella. Tomb. It is also red in color. As you can see here, a tomb is under a tombstone which says the name of the person who died and when they lived. Idka. So, it is Idka. So, Idka is a place set apart for public prayers on the two chief Muslim feasts Eid prayers for Eid ul fitr and Eid al adha It is usually a public place that isn't used as a mosque at other times of the year. Lighthouse. It is also red in color. So, here I have drawn a tower or other structure displaying or flashing a very bright light for the guidance of ships in avoiding dangerous areas in the following certain routes. So, this is lighthouse. This is the symbol of fort which is red in color. The next symbol we will know about grave. As you can see here I have used black color. So, this is how you have to draw but it is little curvy. A grave is a location where a dead body is buried. To find the Dug Bungalow, you have to look for this symbol. As I have written here, DB in capital letter. So, this is a symbol of Dug Bungalow. Then, for camping ground, CG. Then, Reserve Forest, RF. That is also in capital letter. For protected forest, you have to look for this symbol, PF, which is capital in letter. Then, what is the difference between reserved and protected forest of India. Both forests are owned by government of India. That is a similarities. Okay. According to characteristics, they both are protected wildlife, animals and plants. 
Okay, so for reserve forests are owned by government of India and often upgraded to the status of wild san wildlife sanctuaries and national parks. National parks, wildlife sanctuaries are reserve forest areas in India and home to large number of wild animals and birds. Biosphere reserves, so that is the ecosystem we, with plants and animals, are large protected areas of natural habitat where the flora and fauna has full protection. For protected forests, so protected, protected forests of India are natural areas where the habitat and resident wild species have certain degree of protection. So this is the difference between reserved and protected forest. Circuit house. C H this is a symbol of circuit house. So what is circuit house? Circuit house is a guest house exclusively for government employees. A circuit house is called circuit because in government and law terminology circuit means an administrative division. So we can say that circuit house which is a large building to accommodate officials on duty. Now we will know about those symbols what we did not discuss yet. Let's have a look for boundaries. This is how the international boundaries looks like. This is the state boundary. Here we can see for international boundary the, the little dash then again dot then dash then again dot for state boundary both are looking similar. But the difference between these both symbols are the international boundary here the dash is little longer than the state boundary. This is the symbol of district boundary. This is a symbol of railways. Relating to vegetation, let's see. This symbol signify grass, which is green in color. This is a sign of palm tree, like Indian dates, for an example. This is a sign of conifers tree. Like we can say for an example, we can say cedars, pines, redwoods. So this conifers trees which is having needle like leaves. This is a symbol of bamboos, then deciduous tree. Deciduous tree, this is the most common feature you will find in the map. That is deciduous tree or forest. Sometimes there is a question, what type of vegetation is found in the map? So, you have to look for these symbols. These symbols are already there in your map, but for your remembrance, I have provided and showed you over here. See, this is an unmetalled road with an bridge. You will see two curve line like this. This signify bridge. Sometime they asked why the settlement is important for humans. That time you have to find the answer to using these monuments. I have explained almost everything from here. This is a symbol of temple which is red in color. Here we can see it is church, then it is a sign of mosque, then chatri, idga, okay. And this symbol which signifies anchorage. Anchorage, it is a place for refugee. Hope you all understood the concept of conventional signs and symbols. What is a river gap? A gap is low-lying depression or a valley in the region. Or a gap is a landform that is a low point or opening between hills or mountains or in a ridge or mountain range. It may called a coal, notch, pass, saddle, water gap or wind gap. Okay, so that is river gap. A river flows through a gap. So that is the characteristics of a river gap. The next symbol you can see that is form line. Okay, so it is also, uh, actually it is also a contour line. So when the relief of an area is so inaccessible, it means unable to reach 
and complicated that assessment of its accurate height is not possible contour are drawn as broken brown lines to show only the general pattern of the ground and give no definite idea of actual ground so that is form line and see some more conventional features what we need to know so to find out the post of is on the topographical map you have to look for this symbol so that is in capital letter and black in color p o post and telegraph office p t o for dug bungalow what we already know d b camping ground c g in capital then reserve forest r f telegraph office t o police station p s then circuit house c h then rest house that is r h so all these symbols that is um, capital in letter for protected forest p f here we can see a name written that is khera so khera denotes as a village okay so whenever on the topographic map you will see the khera has written then you have to understand that that signifies as a village naka 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 and outpost where tax or toll is collected so that is naka then piao a place where water is available so that is piao hope you all understood all the conventional signs and symbols and their uses properly so students we have finished discussing all the important symbols relating to topography please go through with the video i hope this video has provided you some information about conventional signs and symbols thank you so much see you in the next video